Hi, I'm Tom DeFonte from the Optiputer Project. The Optiputer is a large-scale National Science Foundation information technology and research project. We're building a planetary-scale computer using dedicated networks. The Optiputer really is the World Wide Web on steroids. The web is set up to manipulate interactively megabyte-sized objects, whether it's images or ordinary little poster stamped video streams. But the things that scientists have to deal with are gigabytes, tens of gigabytes, and these objects uh, cannot be uh, interacted with over the normal shared internet. So what we're trying to do in the Optiputer is scale up all the components, whether it's the optical network, the endpoints from PCs to clusters, the middleware that goes from the grid to lambda grid, or the visualization displays which go from the fossilized megapixel displays of 20 years ago to 100 million or higher uh, scaled walls. That way the scientists have a scientific web in which they can interact with remote data instruments or colleagues globally. Today we're at the University of Illinois at Chicago at the Electronic Visualization Laboratory and we're going to show you some visualization and collaboration tools we've developed to date. I'm Jason Lee and I'm also a partner on the Opera Pure Project. My main responsibility is to lead the visualization and collaboration research. Our visualization tools have the ability to operate on a wide variety of display configurations from a four panel desktop display all the way up to our 55 tile, 100 megapixel Lambda Vision display. These are our cluster nodes that are driving all of our high resolution tile displays. Each node consists of two 64 bit Opteron processors, four gigabytes of local memory, two terabytes of hard disk space, and a Quadro FX 3000 graphics card. Each node also has multiple fiber gigabit connections to starlight through our optical switch. Now I'm going to show you two Optiputer visualization tools, Juxtaview and Volatile, designed for earth science and bioscience datasets. Here you see Juxtaview, a tool for navigating through ultra-high resolution digital montages. Here we are navigating through a 200 gigabyte image of a rat cerebellum. Juxtaview uses a wide area shared memory system called Lambda RAM. Lambda RAM attempts to minimize access latency by its aggressive use of bandwidth and caching. The most significant result to date is that we have been able to access data servers in Amsterdam from Chicago faster than we can access data from our local disks. What you're seeing now is volatile a tool for 3D time-varying volumetric data visualization. Here, Volatile shows a three-dimensional image of seismic reflectivity across the East Pacific rise from an experiment conducted by the Scripps Institute of Oceanography. On the right-hand side is an overview map of the entire volume of data. The user can use a small bounding box to zoom in a portion of the larger data set to see more detail. On the left hand side is a high resolution version of what's seen in the bounding box on the right. The data is retrieved from OptiStore servers in Amsterdam and Starlight. OptiStore filters the data and sends high resolution sub-volumes to the visualization clusters. A future goal is to develop fully immersive, collaborative information display rooms that are fed by an international network of Optiputer nodes. The Optiputer is primarily a middleware project, taking the grid uh, community's efforts, which reserve computers and storage and uh, instruments, and adds to it the ability to reserve a predictable network element, a lambda. Now, that has to reside on some substructure. And that substructure of dedicated lambdas is precisely what the National Lambda Rail provides. So we're very pleased to be one of the very first applications to launch the National Lambda Rail. And we hope that our demonstration projects in brain imaging and earth sciences will encourage many other disciplines 
to jump in and become part of this. The Cave Wave is a private 10 gigabit wavelength on the National Lambda Rail used for application development and networking research. It connects Chicago to the University of Washington in Seattle and the University of California in San Diego. It's important for the Optiputer idea that the cost of the networks become less than the cost of the computers and the National Lambda Rail is a way that we can achieve this. The Optiputer, of course, is, is not so much a substitute for a supercomputer as it is uh, a metacomputer. That's a term I coined over 15 years ago to indicate that you're instantaneously creating a computer worldwide out of other computers, a metacomputer. But this is a personal metacomputer that essentially allows you instantaneous interactive visual access to data, remote instruments, or colleagues anywhere on the planet. The Optiputer's goal is to create a global planetary scale computer. In order to do this, we have enlisted the aid of the Global Lambda Integrated Facility, or GLIF. These are people all over the world who have created open exchanges for advanced networking along the lines of what we're doing on the Optiputer.